about the business. So do you open, do you, do you believe that we should have free and open trade unfettered with Cuba? Thank you. To some extent, uh, looking at that foreign policy issue is a little bit out of the scope of where we are looking at state government, but I do find it from a personal level very curious that our major trade partner in the world and major creditor in the world today is uh, the People's Republic of China, yet we penalize a country 90 miles away that could be a tremendous economic benefit for the same reasons that we have always, which is basically a system of government. We have dealt with very poor systems of government all over the world and they are often so I support their Aryo's initiative to permit charter flights from Tampa International Airport, and I would support the lifting of the trade embargo with Cuba. Tampa has historically and geographically been in an excellent position to take advantage of that. We have the port facilities to do it, and anything we can do to bring our local economy along, we need to do it. I think that we need to continue to put pressure on the Cuban government to move toward a, dem a democracy, to free elections and the free political prisoners. And trading with them is, in my view, not the way to do that. Um, I support maintaining the economic sanctions that are currently in place against the Cuban government. Again, this goes to what can we accomplish uh, in the legislature. I believe that we need to be, in the event that it is opened up, Tampa needs to be ready and the port needs to be ready to handle the capacity of the increase in trade. And I think we're strategically increasing capacity because I, I expect that that's what's going to happen. Yes. Next question.